Hi guys, welcome back to the Funky Evolution Party. I'm Alice Green. Um, it's been a few weeks, but obviously i am got quite a lot. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. So most of the time I'm not online and when I am, I'm being censored or I'm being labelled. Um, and so today this is going to be a bit of a mixed segments as always. You know, I go into one thing and then I ramble into another. That's because they are all interrelated. Um, and... Again, we need to establish a new baseline for society, for democracy, for the way things operate, because I am so sick of being labelled a terrorist, an Islamic extremist, a this, a that, being censored for having a valid factual opinion, having people throw religion at me while they are there off killing and blowing up our historic sites, looking at conservation and how thousand year old buildings are being disseminated for well, oh, we're the rightful owners of stuff. Well, guess what? If we're going to sit here and say these people are entitled to something that happened 3,000 years ago, that means that things that happened 250 years ago, i.e. Australia, Africa, America, all the colonies, should then be given back to their rightful owners. It's a very dangerous game the government's playing. What happened in our um, parliament on Wednesday was absolutely disgusting. When you look at who is funding these guys and the reason that they're going through the back door and trying to silence and then and then brand us all as Islam Islamic extremists for millions of people globally being in the street saying stop the killing not in our name you can't say this is a, th a war on religion this is political it's always been political and they are weaponizing god and we need to stop weaponizing god you know in the beginnings when you know, they were quoting the Bible, um, saying this is the civil, savage way to go, whatever. Excuse me, you always need a cup of tea for these conversations. I did pick up the Bible and I broke it down in terms of what was what. Um, I don't like being labelled. I'm a commitment phobic. I don't commit to a religion, an ideology, fixated on one thing and go for gold. I look at all the facts, I look at what's around me, I see actually was that a sensible decision or is there a more factual, more sensible way of doing things. Now, you might guys not might not like this, but yes, I do own a Quran um, and I very much understand Islam and it's very misinterpreted. It's not, these people do not want to take over the world. They don't want to turn everybody into oppressed people that is not the point of what's going on in the middle east what's happening is the theft of land using god's name to forge a war to steal natural resources and to basically eth basically ethnically cleanse the area now again going back in 3000 years of history to where we stand today I found, when I did ask, ask God for a bit of direction, the page I opened up was the children of Israel. And I don't know if everybody is aware of this 80-year curse, but it's clearly stipulated here, where just to, you know, my... <laughs> I, I should read you guys everything that I read, because it did start here, and then I read through. Um, and this was about the ignorance of people um, turning a blind eye to the truth, being too scared to ha say what we want to say because someone's going to label us or put us in a box or silence us. Well, guess what? You can keep trying to silence me. I'm going to just get louder and louder and louder and <laughs> less diplomatic in my approach because don't try and shut me up. It's not going to happen. I'm going to keep going and God is going to keep giving me these answers to give to you. And it's not that I'm special. It's not that I have this powers i'm not a witch i'm a big fucking bitch and that's completely fine because i take no prisoners you can't feed me bullshit and expect that i am gonna be like oh 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 oh, oh, oh like a puppy dog no <coughs> that's not how things work around here in order for society to progress we need to look at what was handed to us we need to turn around and say hey why am i fighting you we are the most boring species on the planet again i take you to my garden you have 
diversity right there. Things are hardwood, softwood. They grow up, they grow down. We don't. It's just pigmentation. And then the extra stuff that we put on. Other than that, this here is melanin and pigmentation. Other, I can't comprehend because I don't actually think I belong on this planet. If the basics of life can't even be acknowledged and embraced, instead, we hate each other. We're fighting each other. For what? I want to know that. Why? You know, we keep destroying everything we build, everything our ancestors built. We're destroying. Why? Because you're scared to be labelled or put in a box? I'm a this, I'm a that. Fuck you all, seriously. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit annoyed. Because how much further do we have to go? How many more children's lives do we need to destroy? I watch all these children globally and it's not just in Palestine. It's happening everywhere. They're losing their families. They're losing everything. What? Do we expect these people to grow up feeling and then how do we expect them to behave in their adult lives? I tell you, it's not a good, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be pretty. And in order for us to create a sound society moving forward, we need to look at how we're going to bring back love, food, fashion, humour and music. They're the four things that will globally unite us. United we stand, divided we fall. The Archbishop of Canterbury refused to meet one of the reverends from Bethlehem. It's insane. It's like you're Christian, but then you're scared of the lobbyists on from other religions. This turning a blind eye is why we are in the position we are today. I need everybody to get real with themselves, be honest and say, is this the life that I would like to see myself leading? where I live in a constant state of fear, where people are going to be knocking on my door, someone's going to drop a bomb because it's going to turn global. You know, what's happening in South America is a mirror of what's happening. And if anyone doesn't believe that Israel needs to be dismantled, this is it here, the 80-year rule, the curse, shall I say. And on top of that, which I will post all of these on my Twitter that is now red labelled, we need to understand that actually God's plan moving forward is for us to unite. We don't we don't serve man, we serve the planet. Our job is to be of service, not to make money. What are you going to do with all your millions? What's it going to buy you? Lab processed food? Bugs? We need to look after our farmers. We need to look after the 4.5 billion years of life force on this planet. And that doesn't come from blocking out the sun. It doesn't come from these crazy people's agendas who have been on the planet for like 80 years and think they know more than the billions of years of evolution before them. You know, it's a reality check because we've just had a full moon in Virgo. Um, and if you look at the actual planetary alignment of astrology, and it's exactly what my birth chart is, 50% of the planets are on one half and this entire side is empty. So people are going to be feeling that void. They're going to be feeling the craziness and the pressure. They're going to be feeling all the stuff that they injected into their bodies, realizing that actually we are trusting the wrong people. They are putting labels on us. They're binding us and they are trying to silence us. You're not a democracy. It's turning into global dictatorships where they want to just oppress anyone who opposes them. Because they know that what they're doing is wrong. They know that they're screwing us all over. Let's increase the taxes. Two billion pounds sent for war in other countries just from here. Imagine that extended out. But we'll cut funding for any humanitarian aid. Slap on the wrists for any resistance movements that might be carried out. One drone costs two million pounds. Yet they'll send it over to the Red Sea to be blown up, but they won't feed people here in this country. They will, won't build any new houses. They won't cap the housing market. There is serious contrasts of how money is being spent and who these people that claim to be working for us are not working for us. They're working for themselves and for the elites. And this needs to be nipped in the butt now before the spring, before things start blooming again, because are we planting weeds? What are we planting? Trees or weeds? Because at the end of the day, 
you have to think about your survival and you can't survive on weeds. No one can. They just take over. They strangle everything. And that's the end of us. Now, I'm not going like this. I'm sorry. I will keep fighting. Once the food becomes scarce because all our farmers are being screwed, when you're hungry and you start to see violence over people starving, you'll say, hey, I wish I got up and stood up and fight. Again, food. Looking at our food supply. Fashion. Even the Saudis now are saying Saudi women can choose what they want to wear. At the end of the day, most women will choose to cover because we are not sex slaves. I don't want you looking at my breasts. I don't want you going, oh, look at my brains. Look at what I have to offer. Why is it that I'm just a piece of meat to everybody? You know, at the end of the day, we need a reality check on who, what we're doing. Why are women in general feeling so insecure? And then men on the other side. You know, because of why? Because of the way society is forcing us and labelling us into these little boxes that we do not belong in. I don't belong in a box. One day I'm wearing a hat. The next day I'm wearing army pants. Does it matter? You're, you're multidimensional. And being fixated on this path of destruction is where we need to, to just say, hey, wait, wait, we're going in the wrong direction here. But currently the ICJ has this massive case in front of them. The only solution is to dismantle the illegal occupations. It is to dismantle this political movement that has seen global chaos. Who think who do you think funds the Colombian drugs and all the cartels? It's not the governments. These governments are working hard to try and curb this. And the best way to do that is to get rid of the actual problem. You know? Um, anyway. I have a lot more to say, but I'm going to leave you there because I don't like my videos. Again, my attention span, I'm not good at everything. I'm not going to lie. I can't sit there and watch like half hour videos. I can't drive. I, there's a few things I can't do. But what I can do is break down information, look at things from a completely different perspective, take myself out of oh, what do I think versus what is the information that's being presented in front of me? And then how do I logically present that to as a representation to the world because at the end of the day <sighs> spitting venom or pointing fingers you're this you're that to try and shut you up it doesn't work at the end of the day facts over fiction delusion is not evolution so let's start working on evolution here um it is 2024 god i can't believe we're going backwards our freedoms and our rights backwards Everything that we stood for or our ancestors stood for is going backwards. And what's going to happen? Totalitarian dictatorships. And I'm not going to go that way. And I hope you guys decide not to go that way either. So please like, share and get this message out there.